If you've been looking for some extra stabilization for a GoPro, an Osmo Action, or an Insta360 1R, this gimbal might have you covered. Let's get into it. So if you've already got an action camera, you might be thinking, hey, isn't the stabilization plenty good? Something like a GoPro straight out of camera? It is, that's why I'm keen to check out this. Now this doesn't compensate for the Y axis, which is up and down. So it is like a regular DJI style gimbal for a mirrorless camera or any smartphone gimbal, but it's designed specifically to work with the GoPro. So we're gonna test it with and without the gimbal, but a massive thank you to Pergear for sending this out for the review. I really appreciate it. This model is the Falcon. It's also got the Inky branding here. If you want to check it out, I'll leave links down below. The Falcon gimbal also has Bluetooth connectivity. And even if your action camera isn't compatible, you can still use this in regular mode, just like any other gimbal for a mirrorless camera. So yeah, Bluetooth features aside, this will still be functional with the majority of action cameras. Like a lot of good gimbals, you get some feet that you can attach to the bottom. First thing I noticed about this is just how lightweight the whole thing is. It weighs hardly anything. As you can see, this is designed specifically for action cameras. I love the fact this mount is the way that it is. It allows you to easily connect the bottom of any of the action cams. Including the box, we also get one of these screw mounts. This is great in case you misplace your own. We also get a USB-A to USB-C cable for charging the gimbal. We get a couple of different Allen keys and a couple of small screws, and I'll talk about these in just a sec. So I've got the camera connected, and just to be clear, it doesn't fit with the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod or the GoPro Hero 9 Media Mod. Sadly, there is some space on the side here. I thought it would fit, but it doesn't. So you'll be using it just as is. Let's turn this thing on. Boom. Hold the red button down, and the gimbal turns on. So let's test this out. I've got the GoPro Hero 8 attached to the gimbal. I'm gonna do the same walk around twice, once with the gimbal and once without. If you double tap the front button, it centers itself. Pretty cool. Up next, we're gonna use the GoPro on its own. I'm just gonna hold it a mix like this and like this. So here we go. I'm walking as I would normally right now, as I did before. This looks ultra stable as well. So yeah, we'll see if there's actually any difference. Thanks to the mode button on the back and the four LED lights, we get four different modes we can choose from. PF is pan follow mode. So basically as you turn the gimbal left and right, it will follow your movements. That way, as you bring it down this way, it doesn't actually change its orientation. This is without pushing anything else on the gimbal. So if you wanna go up and down, you'll need to use the joystick on the back. The second mode on the gimbal is HL mode. Now this is great if you don't wanna use the joystick at all, it will now follow you left and right this way, but also up and down. Now, it gives you a little less precision this way, so you may still choose to use the joystick, which you can in this mode as well. But overall, that's there if you wanna do some high intensity sort of sports action stuff where you really want quick movements. The third option is FPV. This is where all three axes of the gimbal follow. It does also restrict the axis or use of the joystick on the back, so if you do wanna keep it just going in one direction, this is a really great mode. Now, you can also shoot in vertical and flashlight mode. As you can see now, I'm holding it horizontally like this. So it allows you to capture vertical video this way around. Now, for whatever reason, anytime I bring it up this way, <laughs> it doesn't like staying vertical. It always goes diagonal. So this mode, it looks like it's designed to be used this way around. One of the biggest advantages that the nine and 10 have over the eight is horizon leveling. So that's currently enabled 4K 25P. Let's do the same thing. 
this really keeps the GoPro extremely stable. So yeah, kind of makes me wonder whether or not the gimbal is going to be any better in this sort of situation. <laughs> this looks great on the back of the screen as well. Let's go over to the gimbal. GoPro Hero 9 with horizon leveling with the Falcon gimbal. Here we go. Now this does offer a bit more ease of use, I guess would be the right way to say it. You can go down to the ground like this, bring it up and do more cinematic moves, but whether or not you need that with your GoPro, that's up to you. But I could definitely see this being in the bag for someone doing some traveling. Now, if you plan on doing any type of vlogging, tap the button at the front three times. It goes into selfie mode. So this is pretty cool. I'm shooting in 5K, 25P right now with horizon leveling on. We're gonna see just how smooth this is. This actually looks like it's doing a pretty good job. So we'll see how it works even with the laggy front screen. Overall, this seems like it looks at least a little bit more stable. And now we're gonna use the regular GoPro tripod that you get in the pack. I'm gonna do some vlogging. Same thing, I'm just gonna walk around the tree. So this is still with horizon leveling on. We're gonna see whether or not there's a massive difference. Now, to be fair, I can actually see the GoPro shaking a whole lot more without the gimbal. So yeah, hopefully this is working as intended. I'll comment on all of this in just a moment, but I want to do some tests before anything else. Maybe the best thing about this gimbal is that it connects via Bluetooth wirelessly to your action camera so you can start and stop recording. Right now it's not recording. On the side, there's three buttons. I'm gonna hit the record button. And now I'm recording, how cool is that? And if I click it again, it stops. When it comes to the side handle over here, we get photo mode, video mode, and time-lapse mode. If we wanna start and stop recording, as I just showed you, hit the record button, but we can also access the photo option just by hitting this button. So if we take a look on the back here and hit the photo button, and it just took a photo. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Or we can start recording again and then we can go for a vlog. So it's up to you how you want to use it. I think this is really functional when it comes down to the Bluetooth connectivity. This is where it really shines. I actually, after using it for a little while as well, I much prefer it without the extension handle, which is aimed just basically to keep it from falling over once you want to set it down. But yeah, like this, it's really small and compact, very functional. All right, let's talk about the results. So it's far later in the day. The rest of the project I've already edited. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about my thoughts when it comes to the Inky Falcon and who it's for. So you're gonna be doing any type of traveling. This would make a whole lot of sense. I think it shines best if you're behind the camera using it like a conventional gimbal. So that cinematic style stuff I did at the start of the video, I actually shot at the end of the day and I was really impressed with what I was able to get out of it just by using the GoPro Hero 9. Doesn't matter if you got an eight, a seven, a 10, it won't matter. In that particular mode, it will work great. So if you're gonna be doing any type of thoughtful filming, meaning you're gonna put some thought into it, you get some really great results with it. I also really loved how it looked when I was vlogging with it. I think that it was slightly smoother than without the gimbal. When I reviewed the footage of me behind the camera, just walking around with it, I didn't think it was that much better than the stabilization just built into the GoPro by using one of these little guys. Where it is better is if you put a little bit of thought into your shot or if you take a little bit more time, it's going to be far smoother. The advantage of the gimbal is you can actually stage your shots. So you can pan left and right at your own speed using the analog control stick on the back. So you can do nice, slow control pans, which is something you can't do just by holding a camera like this. Of course you can try, but it will never be quite as smooth as a gimbal. So the gimbal gets the win there. As the day went on, I started to enjoy that even more. And I can really see this being part of someone's travel kit. So there's two things to keep in mind if you're thinking about buying the Inky Falcon gimbal. The first one is that Bluetooth connectivity isn't guaranteed with all action cameras. Now, while this will work with any action camera up to 200 grams of payload, the Bluetooth connectivity isn't guaranteed. I'll leave some documentation links in the description below so you can double check before you buy this. But if you've got a GoPro, you shouldn't have any issues. But if you have an Osmo Action or an Insta 361R or something like that, it will work with this, but the Bluetooth connectivity might not. Which brings me to my point, with the Bluetooth connectivity, I was forever accidentally knocking the buttons on the side. I was taking photos by mistake and hitting record and stop when I didn't need to. So for me, I'm actually gonna leave that off going forwards in the future and just use it as a normal gimbal, like you would with a mirrorless camera. So in that regard, it's pretty cool. The only small disappointment was that I couldn't get it to work with the GoPro Hero Media Mod. I would have loved to have had this on. That means I could 
hook up a wireless pack and so forth and get really great audio while walking behind or vlogging with this particular unit. So that would have been cool, but unfortunately it doesn't work. The only other small criticism I have is getting the gimbal into vertical mode is a little bit challenging. It actually took me quite a few goes to get that. Maybe that will get easier over time as I get more familiar with it. But being that this is rechargeable, it's extremely light, it's very functional. And for the casual user who might wanna do some walk around footage, vlogging and just get really smooth pans or tilts depending on how you set it up it makes a whole lot of sense now gopros aren't maybe the most cinematic cameras out there but if you color grade it and you can do some cool fancy lighting effects to it you can get some great results so i hope you like this video if you want to check this out links will be below thanks again catch you soon see ya